Good morning, Vietnam. I wanted to say that, but welcome back to Football Week 2. Football! And we'll talk about the divisional round of the playoffs after announcements and news. A presidential debate last night held in Des Moines, Iowa, brought about many conversational topics in which candidates fought about regarding the killing of Iranian... General Qasem Soleimani, Democrats were fighting over a foreign policy. Elizabeth Warren argued that the troops needed to be pulled from Afghanistan, and Bernie Sanders spoke upon him opposing the Iraqi war. Minnesota Senator Amy Kubluchar and Joe Biden favored the traditional foreign policy that argued that at least a small military presence should remain in the Middle East. All the Democrats agreed that the trade war that Donald Trump has with China and North American allies have hurt American jobs and the rural economy. More than two dozen students, as well as multiple others, required medical treatment after a Delta plane dumped fuel onto the school grounds below them in a state of emergency. According to police, more than 60 people required some form of treatment throughout seven different schools in Los Angeles due to both direct exposure to fuel as well as inhaling the gaseous fumes. The flight, Delta Flight 89, experienced an engine issue on its path to Shanghai, resulting in the mandatory fuel dump to safely return back to LAX. No one was sent to the hospital from this incident. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The gamers of ESM would like to thank Amir Brinson for organizing a Madden 20 touchdown tourney. The event will take place January 28th through the 30th after a fourth block in the library. Due to the large volume of students asking for the tournament, we are only accepting signups for alternate players at this time. Alternate players should sign up with Miss Reyna outside of D16. Mister. 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 That's not Miss. I apologize. Anyways, like we said, it's football time! Don't worry, John. This time you're going to have to act a lot more professional. And anyways, last week we made some picks about who we thought we were going to win the divisional round. And of course, all of my picks were right. What? None of your picks were right. What are you talking about? My picks were uh, the Vikings, the Ravens, the Texans, and the Seahawks. Oh. I at least got some wins with the Chiefs and the 49ers, although I did pick the Ravens and the Seahawks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, we'll start with one of the four games you picked wrong. The Vikings and the 49ers. Well, yeah, but the only interesting stats from that game were the 49ers running back, Tevin Coleman, had like 105 rushing yards and two rushing touchdowns. That's pretty good, but... And moving on to the most interesting game, the Titans versus the Ravens. That game was whack. Uh, Titans running back Derrick Henry, like normal, was an absolute monster and rushed for 195 yards and even passed for a touchdown. He, like, does it all. He also broke an NFL record for most consecutive games with 180 rushing yards. Uh, Ravens QB Lamar Jackson surprised a lot of people and played very bad, throwing two interceptions, and f he even fumbled once. I wasn't surprised by that, but whatever, and let's see if there are any surprises coming up with weather. Today we'll have morning clouds opening up into some afternoon sunshine with highs in the low to mid 40s. Tomorrow we'll sadly be dropping back into the cold temperatures again with some snow accumulation and highs in the 20s. Friday will also be cold with intervals of sun and highs between 15 and 20. Saturday we'll have midday snow and a high near 35. Sunday we'll have highs near 31 with some more snow during the day. And then Monday and Tuesday we'll drop back into the low temperatures with highs in the teens and low 20s. I'm Allie with your weather. Hi, I'm Jane with Mysterious Facts. Today, we tackle the hassles of cold weather. Now, don't you hate it when it gets, when the weather goes freezing cold on you while wearing no coat and nothing to warm yourself up? And there's nothing worse than snowed in buildings and icy roads. So, how can you solve that? Well, <clears throat> if you have frosty car windows, start up your car to warm it up. Or, if your car windows are actually frozen in solid ice, one of these cone, use one of these cone-shaped ice scrapers. 
There are also other health conditions like hypothermia, frostbite, and even the flu. And be careful when you're walking on ice like icy steps and icy sidewalk. But we wouldn't recommend it. Chances are you can slip and fall and could get an, and could get an injury from that. Also, beware of icy roads. I mean, what if you crash your car to something unexpected? We recommend wait until rock salt melts and the ice, I mean, when rock salt melts all the ice, so it's safe to both walk and drive on. Now, both me and Allie had both dealt with cold weather. Allie, what cold weather problems did you deal with? All right, well, whenever it's cold, um, I always get sick. I actually was just sick yesterday, and I usually can't go a month in winter without being sick, so that's something I definitely hate about winter. If you need any car tips, don't forget to stop in and talk with our automotive students in the C-Wing. Until then, be careful. And by the way, I, the only reason I wasn't surprised was because Lamar Jackson doesn't have a good history in the playoffs. Okay, Luke, stop, stop talking. Nobody actually asked. Uh, now on to Sunday's games. Started with the Chiefs playing the Texans. And at the end of the first quarter, it was 21-0 with the Texans up. Chiefs, uh, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes threw three touchdowns in three minutes and then another touchdown all in the second quarter. The Chiefs ended up winning 51-31. Now, the Seahawks. Um, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, the Seahawks are Luke's team, and uh, they lost to the Packer Packers. That would be why he's throwing a tantrum currently. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not throwing a tantrum. I was only mad at the first hour of the, the game ending. Luke, you cried, didn't you? Anyways, uh, Packers receiver Devontae Adams put the team on his back with 160 yards and two touchdowns, and averaging... 20 yards a catch. You know, Tyler Lockett had 136 touchdown and, and or 136 yards and a touchdown. And no, I didn't care that much to cry, John. Okay. The Packers defense also had five total sacks and constant pressure on Russell Wilson. Okay, I don't know if it was just me, but I felt like I was watching a modified football game when they forget how to play the first half and then the coaches yell at them a lot. And then they try to get out of the hole they've dug, dug themselves and they can't win. Yeah, Luke, that's definitely just you thinking that. Uh, but that's an interesting way of putting it. Uh, what did you think, Isabella? Um, I personally did not watch the game. Um, in other news, the girls football team lost against Syracuse and the boys bowling team defeated Syracuse. The boys basketball team took a tough loss against Central Square last night. Nick Peterson led the team in points with 13. The girls basketball team also took a tough loss against Central Square. The MLB has, is, has punishing the Astros for stealing signs off other teams from 2017. The Astros got fined $5 million and lost their first and second round picks in 2020. Um, in 2021. Also with this, the manager AJ Hinch and general manager Jeff Flornhout both got suspended one year, but the day after both of them got fired. Alex Cora got fired by the Red Sox yesterday and will most likely be suspended more for being the bench coach in 2017. And he also got caught stealing signs in 2018 with the Red Sox. Pete Rose was banned um, from entering the Hall of Fame due to gambling on his own team, but he quoted, I was wrong for gambling, but I didn't taint the, t the game. In upcoming games, the wrestling team has a match tonight at home against Fulton, and the cheerleaders will have the SCAC championship tonight. Good luck to the wrestlers and the cheerleaders. I'm Isabel with your sports. And here is a quick pick for all of the scores. Should be somewhere over somewhere. I don't know. Mm. Never mind. Uh, I guess not. Um, all righty, then. Wait, John. Oh, there, there it is. is. There, there it is. You got it. And John, now that one of my teams and both of your teams are out, who do you think is going to play in the Super Bowl and who's going to win? We have to talk about that. Um, yes, we do. So I have the Titans and the Packers playing in the Super Bowl with the Titans for the win, baby. Well, I think the 49ers are going to go to the Super Bowl and the Chiefs are going to go and they're going to win. Yeah, well, look, I'm going to be honest with you. You're short, so... Uh, 
That's why I'm going to be right and you are not. Bye. <laughs>